Hi friends, now we are going to talk about how to enable code hints for keyword non keywords. So this is this is what you get. So you might be saying, okay, this is the PowerPoint and here you you go into SAP, SAP Ad, Ad Editor and you click on the top right bottom portion of there is a small icon and you just click and we'll show it in the system now and what magic this particular keyword can do a lot of these keywords can do okay this one this one okay so let's see what it can do okay so let's go we are going to sap now login probably it's already there so here is sap and i log in and and i'll show you what magic it can do Here is the magic. So I'm going to SE38. In SE38, and here you can see uh, this is the this is the program that is my guinea pig. Okay, and I'll go into change mode. Okay, now what I'm going to show you is something magic. So here you can see this is a simple program where basically I'm just checking where I'm just selecting these. B name, you, these these are the stuffs that I'm selecting. Now, what I'm doing is, if for example, now I want to do so. So suppose I want to just write a program, right? So if I try to select, this already comes, and then you have to press the tab key always. Okay, when this comes, you need to press tab key, and if you want select options, you can press tab key. Okay, so you need to hit the tab key. So that's that's there forever. So you can say. SAP first started this tab key. Then, okay, the next feature that that this thing probably everyone knows. And if you don't know, again, I'm saying so. If you are, if I write suppose read table, I'll just hit tab, and you it will autofill. Okay. Now, the whole thing is this feature. I most of them, most of you all know. But now, what I'm going to do is I want the features where I'm saying loop at so loop at. I am putting IT, but this I want to get it filled rather than I have to fill it. Okay. So because it, uh, here they know that there is an internal table IT. So how you can make that uh, enabled? So I'll show you how you can make it enabled. Okay. So you go into code completion and you click on suggest non keyword from text and you click save. Okay. Now you see the magic. You see the magic? It already come. Now you will see another magic. I'll just enter into. Okay, so we'll use into WA. You see the magic? It is coming. So all the declaration that is happening that came. Now there might be other magic. I don't know. Uh, uh, any other magic? You see, this magic is coming. The B name came. You see? So if I say, okay. Uh, so suppose here, since you mentioned B name, it's taking. So if I select G, you see it's taking. And if you say GLT, G, GV, means it picks up the first, the first one. But still, it's a it's a win win for me. Okay. So this is really helpful. So you can see us just by just doing this B name like this, you did. Now suppose if I had to write the same thing here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just commenting this code. And here, if I see, so if I see here, you see, I'm writing something, okay? So I just type B name, it comes. Now I want to write, suppose I want to put W, I'll do this. Suppose I want something else. So I'll put this, sorry. And then I put this, this comes. Uh, the only thing is if it's the same name, it only shows probably, I'll, I'll try this one. WA, this one, comma, GLT, GB. The GV is not coming, but that's very rare. You don't have it, but that that part, even if I show, right, this will come, I'll just change it to V, okay? So that's wonderful by just doing, so what what is happening is I'm just trying to, so whenever I'm trying to type, okay, it will not show here like it, it will show like this. Okay, say so B name. 
so it will already show all these things so if at some point i want s s underscore c usr02 because since i have mentioned here all these things will happen so if i want to press user this will come you see the match code object this is is this wonderful so you just hitting the tab key and that's it so how you did it again i'll mention it very important I went here, I clicked here, okay? Code completion, this is by default unchecked. You need to check it and click save, and that's it. And this is GUI specific, and this is GUI specific means it's specific to your system. <coughs> it's not stored in your, in your user profile or something. It's GUI specific, okay? So this is very useful. So that covers the code completion, and I am, I am hoping you're going to use it right away and you will just click on this checkbox and you will be cruising on okay so that's it uh, for this portion of the training